Hey guys, what's going on? Today, we're gonna to be talking a little bit more about the mindset behind wearing a hair system, some of the things that you're gonna face and how you can go out and conquer them. Today, we're gonna to be talking about you gotta get angry at your hair loss. Now, this sounds controversial and maybe doesn't sound like the most positive message, but stick with me till the end. I swear this message is positive and truly will help you out. If it does, leave me a like, comment down below. But real quick guys, this video is sponsored by Livivid, who is just sponsoring education inside of the community, helping us feel a little bit more confident about ourselves with our hair systems. If you want to get a discount down below, use my code Jake15 and go check out some of their stock systems. Now, hair loss is something that's really, really scary for men, women, anybody that's facing it. This is something that's not only affecting your physical appearance, but it is also affecting your identity. It's causing an identity crisis, which is one of the biggest issues that I had and I find that other people have. They don't feel like themselves. They don't go do the things that they usually do. They're not the person that they want to be. And that itself creates a lot of cognitive dissonance about what actions to take and how to solve the problem. There's a lot of fear and indecision in the process of solving your hair loss because one, it's so integral to who you are and it's something that's very physical. No matter what solution you go for, there's an identity change that's gonna happen. Whether you get a hair system and you resolve the issue right away, you get a hair transplant and you have you know, the bumpy head for a little bit and you have to shave your head, you shave your head and you have to deal with that look. It's such a hard problem to solve, but it's simple to solve, right? And the simplicity of it is in taking action. The simplicity of it is that you just have to make a choice and move forward with it. Now, Rogaine or using Finasteride, that type of stuff is potentially the slowest of all the, not cures, but remedies to hair loss and you're gonna see the slowest amount of transformation. But here's the thing, once you make the decision, it gets a lot easier because you commit to the path, whether you're spending money or you decide in your head, all these things add up and are factors to you actually addressing your hair loss and getting it solved and conquered. Or it's a stop along the journey and you discover that it wasn't the right stop, the right place that you wanna be and you go and you try the next thing. But where most people get stuck, and this is something that you may resonate with, is that the indecision of making a choice is potentially the most painful of all the places that you can be because you're sitting there not actually solving the problem. You're sitting there in all of the pain and the identity crisis of who you are and who you want to be, but what you actually look like. And you're not doing anything about it. You're letting the world act on you. You're letting your genetics affect your appearance, if that makes sense. Basically, there's things you could be doing, but you're not doing any of them because ultimately you're basing your decisions out of fear or you're not making a decision because of fear. So here's the thing that I have realized inside of my life and I've taken this concept from a, a lot of personal development books, whether it's Tony Robbins or from Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich. But uh, one of the themes that I've noticed inside of this is that you have to actually create emotional energy behind a massive decision. You can't just logic your way into making a decision that has a lot of emotion wrapped around it. If you have a lot of fear around making a decision, you have to match that energy with a different energy to transform your mind to be able to make that decision. So that's why I'm saying you gotta get angry or inspired or excited about your hair loss or solving your hair loss. You guys say you gotta get angry because I found that when a person is truly fed up with something, when they have had it to the gills, when they are just frustrated and ready to move on, that is the moment where everything changes. When you commit to a new course of action as opposed to living it in decision, that is when transformation happens. All of the mental rumination does nothing but spin our gears and waste mental energy, physical energy, emotional energy, and you get no results. It's only when you put it in the action by having an emotional charge that pushes you forward that you get somewhere.
Now, I personally don't care what decision you make when it comes to your hair loss, whether it's going and getting a hair system, which I'm wearing right now, using finasteride and Rogaine, getting a hair transplant, shaving your head. They're all great choices for different people and there's even more choices like SMP and other things. What I do care though, is that you make a decision. Not just because, generally speaking, really thin hair is not a good look for just about anybody, but the fact that making a decision will cause so much mental, emotional, and psychological relief for you that you can put that energy into other things inside of your life, more important things inside of your life, into relationships, into businesses, and that is what's really important here is that you're going out you're living your best life and that you're taking life kind of by the pelotes which if you don't know what that means just type pelotes into uh, google translate it's spanish for something ultimately guys i want to see you succeed and one of the ways that we can move through these problems in our life is by getting really emotional about it by allowing us to channel our emotions and help us make a hard decision easier by pushing us through. It's kind of like tackling a really big, strong, fat dude, like a linebacker in the NFL, right? Like if you do it from just standing here still and you try to tackle him and he's bigger than you, chances are you're not gonna win, he's gonna stand tall. But if you get a running start and you hit him low, below the center of gravity, chances are you got a really good shot of knocking him over. And nine out of 10 times, if you do it right, you're gonna knock them over. That's what emotional energy can do for you in this game. Remember guys, if you like this, comment down below, leave me a thumbs up. Let me know that you're watching, that you appreciate these mindset videos, and I will see you soon.